All right, this is the grab bag lab. So in this lab, we're going to practice identifying different types of matter based on whether it's uh, element compounds or a mixture of those two. Uh, so you can see there's a little video for your assignment. And off over here to the right, you can see that there is a color-coded chart that you will need uh, to complete this activity. Um, so uh, around the table, there are different uh, uh, bags and there's different uh, types of compounds or elements in there and you must identify them. So let's just go ahead and look at the, look at, do the pre-lab here. So let's look at the model of ethanol, right? So this is the model of ethanol right here and answer the following questions, right? Once you complete this section, move to the grab bag activity. So how many atoms are there of each element in ethanol? So we can come in here and we can put this in the table. So you can see here that it's asking for carbon. So I'm looking for the capital C. So there's going to be two there. All right, good. All right, so now I'm looking for hydrogen. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's going to be six hydrogen. And oxygen, well, I only see one oxygen. Good. So I got all of those right. Now, how many different elements are there in ethanol? So let's see here. If I need a hint, so count the different letters in the model. So all the different letters. Well, I can see here I only have three different letters. We counted those. So that's going to be uh, three. All right, good. Now, how many total number of atoms are there in ethanol? So let's look at this hint. Count the total number of letters in the model. So the total number of letters are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's going to be 9 in there. All right. So what is the chemical formula for ethanol? So without even knowing anything about chemical formulas, all we have to do is there's this drop box, and you can see I'm looking for one that's go like, let's see if I can look at the hint. So look at the table you made above. That should give you the number of each atom that is present. So now I know that there are two carbons, six hydrogen, and one oxygen. So I know it's probably not one of these uh, smaller ones down here because I have to have three different ones. Well, this right here, uh, this one has all three of them. So notice I've got two carbons. Now that one says five hydrogens next to it. It's kind of small five hydrogens, but there's also an OH on the end. So I have one oxygen and one more hydrogen. So that's going to be that. All right, so good. So now I've got all of those correct. So this is a good start to that grab bag lab. So down here, determine if the substance inside each bag is an element, compound, uh, or mixture. If it is a mixture, determine its mixture of elements, mixture of compounds, or a mixture of both. Then list all the formulas present in the bag. So you can see here that there are photos of them, uh, but they are around at each lab table. So let's just go over a hint, right? So th this is a little trickier one. So let's see what the hint is. Well, if the model only has one color, it's an element. If the model has two or more colors, it is a compound. If all the models in the bag are the same, it is not a mixture. So use the color-coded chart to identify the elements and compounds. Okay, good. All right, so let's go ahead and do a couple of examples here, right? Um, so let's go ahead and do this first one. So let's see here. So I know if I, if I use that hint, well, I have that it's only one color, right? All of the, if the model, the, all the models only have one color. Um, and let's see here. It is not a mixture because they're all the same. We all have the same. So if I look at that color coded chart up there, they're nitrogen and I have two nitrogen. So I come down here. Oh, sorry. I have to say whether it's a, it's going to be a, an element because they're all the same. Now notice it did not turn uh, green because I have to get this whole section correct in order to uh, answer it. So now let's go ahead and figure out which, what kind of elements or what uh, compounds, what elements are in there. So we know I only have one element, right? So element, so it's going to be two nitrogens connected together. There we go. So now I got that one correct. Um, so let's just uh, skip around here. Let's do let's do another one here. Um, let's do. How about we'll do number fourteen? Uh, number fourteen is probably the trickiest one here, right? So let's just take a look at that hint again. Uh, if the model only has one color, it is an element. Two or more colors, it's a compound. If all the models in the bag are the same, it is not a mixture. Uh, so all the so they're not the same. So I know it's some sort of a mixture. It is a mixture. Um, so let's see here. I know I'm going to have uh, compounds 
because there's going to be uh, uh, two colors, but I also have elements. All right, so it's going to be a mixture of compounds and elements. Now notice, once again, it did not turn green because I have not uh, answered this the whole thing correctly yet. So now I have to identify what's in there. Now this one's kind of tricky because there are four different uh, either compounds or elements. So let's go ahead and let's let's identify. Well, first let's do the easy one. Let's just do those free red ones, right? So that's just going to be one oxygen, right? So it's not O2. It's just going to be oxygen. All right, let's do that. There's one uh, free black one right there. So that's going to be a carbon. All right, so just one carbon is there. All right, now let's see here. Uh, so now I have this one. So this one's uh, one carbon, two oxygens, and I have two of those, actually three of those. So this one's going to be one carbon, two oxygens. Let's see, I can scroll down one carbon. Okay, here it is. One carbon and two oxygens, carbon dioxide. So put that, and I have one more up here. This one's the tricky one. So I have one oxygen and one carbon. So I come in here and I have, okay, let's see here. Okay, so I have one carbon, one oxygen. Okay, so I got all of them uh, correct, so it all turned green. Good. All right, let's do one more here. Let, let's do one that uh, we type. Okay, let's do bag number 11. All right, so let's just look at that hint again. Remember, if it's... Uh, Let's see here. If the model only has one color, it is an element. So both of these, they're going to have uh, more than one. So both of these are compounds, and there's two different compounds here. So it's going to be a mixture of compounds. All right, so I'll come in here, mixture of compounds. All right, so now I have to determine what those compounds are. So I look at that little co color-coded chart up top. Um, I know, let's do that. Let's do the, the bigger one first. So let's do, so there's one carbon and four hydrogens. Okay, there we go. One carbon and four hydrogens. There it is, CH4. All right. Now the other one, let's see, green is chlorine and white is hydrogen. So if I come in here, I'm looking for one that has chlorine and one that has hydrogen. Oh, here it is, HCl. All right, perfect. So it turned green and now I, I know that that is correct. So this is what you're going to do on all of these different bags as you rotate around the table. So once again, this is the Grab Bag Lab.